Hello everybody, now this is our second lesson of the ball falling game. Now, we have our Pico walking out here and all, all we have so far is when he moves left and right, he walks back along the street. Now what we want to do is we want to create a ball. We can actually insert a sprite here and pick a ball or we can just create a ball from, from using colors, okay? Click ball, okay? Make a circle, fill it in with something, doesn't matter. Have a green ball, okay? Let's shrink it a little bit. Oh, see, that's the other way of shrinking it. I, you know I prefer not to do it that way, but we'll keep it like that for now. Make sure that you can change the ball at any time, you see. Now, what you basically want, when the game starts, we want this ball to fall. Change in the Y direction. As we discussed before, Y is up and down. I want to change by negative 5. If I push play now, it just goes down by negative 5. That's not exactly ideal. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put that in a forever loop. So it's forever falling. Controls, repeat forever, and then we're going to push play. Yep, nice and easy. Now with this ball falling, okay, we've got to hit the ground and at the moment I have to pick it up. So basically we want to make sure this ball actually starts at the top. So we're going to go, go to, uh, we're going to go the top is the right here I'm looking. About 180. Okay, and then I want to go to operations and I want to go pick a random number from left. So basically, I want it to go up to the top and then I want to pick randomly at the top where it's going to be. So on the x axis, it's going to be a negative 240 to positive 240. So negative 240, positive 240. Okay, so when I click play, it goes up to the top and then it falls down. There we go. Alright. Now what we want to do is basically make it so it automatically jumps back up to the top every time it hits the ground. So we're going to basically put another controller. We're going to put check forever in our forever loop. So if this happens, if the operations, if it is less, if the ball falls down less on the y-axis, then 170, we want it to do whatever is in here. Now I want it to do this again, so I'm just going to copy this code and I'm going to throw this over here, okay? When we throw this up, now we'll see, what did I do? Oh, this is not negative. No? This is not negative. See, so what you're doing is going to 170 and falling up. You want negative 170. Touches the ground, it goes back up, okay? Okay, and that's how we, no, we'll do the next one first. Okay, now we also want to make it so when it hits Giga, uh, no, uh, when it hits Pico on the head, it flies back up to the top. So what we do here, we copy this, duplicate that, throw it in here, get rid of this, put a sensing control in, and say if touching, Pico walking. Now you see, if it touches, well, it didn't work. If it touches Pico walking, it's going to jump back up to the top. Okay, and our goal is to try and catch this ball every time. Okay, next time we'll start talking about scores and how to end the game. Thank you very much.